What's up guys, War here and welcome back to the second part of our inventory management videos getting ready for season 27 is right around the corner so thank you guys so much for tuning in so today we're going to talk about what to keep inside of your inventory or maybe not what to keep but like what i like to keep and kind of my tips that i like to do with my inventory last video we kind of went over all of the tabs and kind of how i organize my inventory which if you guys didn't see that video i'll link it above guys make sure to check that out as it really does help you kind of just organize everything make it real nice and neat and make it really easy to navigate so uh you know throughout your uh, entire season so that way it just helps you out so let's jump straight into it okay so when it comes to items that you keep throughout the entire season a lot of this changes based on the person who's kind of playing but i kind of like to break it down and just keep only the essentials the thing is if you're a person like me who only plays seasons now i used to play softcore and hardcore outside of seasons but then once i really got involved in playing seasonal diablo and just how much more fun it is and the grind is just it feels more rewarding than just playing normal non-season softcore or hardcore uh, of course with hardcore there's always that perspective of like you know i have one guy who has never died but besides that seasonal diablo is the best for me so this is how i like to keep everything so when it comes down to gear i like to keep anything that is ancient Okay, while you're building different builds throughout your characters or your classes inside the season, I like to keep things that are legendary or excuse me, um, ancient only. Of course, you want to keep any and all primals um, just because you never know what kind of primals that you're going to get. And then you always want to keep them. I mean, unless it's a useless item. So you always want to keep primals. And then I like to keep ancient items only. So next after that, what I like to keep is my set pieces. So if I have a really strong set piece, like I have here with my Gears of Dreadlands, like if you have a build that's very, very strong and you have items that are dang near perfect and the only way to really get them better is to get Primal Ancients, then I like to keep all of those items. As you can see here, like with the forearms here, my gloves, you know, like my dexterity could be better but my crit damage and my crit chance, both really good. Reduced cooldown could be better. But I mean, it'd be very hard to make these gloves that much better. Like the odds of finding gloves that are that much better than what I have on. It can be done, but you want to keep all really good gear or set pieces that you're going to be using for your classes in Diablo. So that's what I like to do. I'd like to keep all... Ancients. Now, I do have some items here because I was playing the sets. So, if some are ancient, I may not keep these because, you know, in the end, like these items are going to be stuff that you can get again. You know, when you're playing seasons and all of these items transfer to your normal accounts, a lot of the items are just going to be duplicates. So, what I like to do is, like, if I have really good gear, I'll make note of it. And when I'm doing the item transfer, which we're going to do another video on, guys, and show you guys how to do that and how to kind of pick and choose what you're going to keep and what you're going to toss and salvage i like to just keep those i mean when you have so many duplicates you're going to get them like echoing furies you're going to get a million echoing furies when you're playing grs non-stop and just grinding you're going to get plenty of these so unless it's a really good one you can probably dump it now for your extra items when you go to keep these of course you're going to keep all gems because they stack potions you don't have to you can just toss these i just like to have them throughout the season if i want to swap and try something different while i'm playing a certain class you know just to see if it makes you know a difference in a way or and it's kind of cool to use some of them like teleporting to another location randomly is kind of cool but so you keep all the gems you transfer those and then any legendary gems that you have ranked up that you were going to augment or any legendary gems like you have for your character you just want to keep these you can always augment them later you can always augment them on stuff and upgrade other items later. So I like to keep anything that I've really leveled up. Now gems like Invigorating, the Moratorium, the Pain Enhancer that I haven't leveled up at all, I probably won't keep these and I'll just let them, you know, dissolve into the Diablo 3 void when I go to transfer stuff over. But anything that I've actually leveled up for classes, I'm going to keep because you're going to use them. You're going to use them on so many different class builds and each class build requires a bane of the trap that you're using etc so there's never a reason not to have these 
Now, what I will make note of is that now that we have Echoing Nightmares as a permanent game mode, and you're getting the Whisper of Atonements at level 125, it does change how you want to keep these legendary gems when you're transferring items over. Now, again, it's to your normal account, so if you don't play your normal account, then it's no big deal. But I do want you to keep that in mind, so you may not even need to keep as many of these as I already have, or maybe less, or maybe you do want to keep more, because the Whisper of Atonements are going to be used to augment absolutely everything. So the only thing I would say to keep these is if you're going to level the Whispers up or just level these up, just for like the equipment on the damage. Like all mine are rank 100. I would like to get these a lot higher, obviously, but I haven't been grinding too much because we've been doing the PTR, which has been insane. <clears throat> Next is any of the like extra items. So obviously you're gonna wanna keep all your whispers now. Uh, you wanna keep all the gifts, the petrified screams. You can keep all the infernal machines. Those are all good. But these items, I kind of just try to keep in moderation, right? Because the bovine, bovine bardiches is used for the cow level and the puzzle rings are used for the vault. You know, I don't wanna stack too many of these in just my normal account. I like to have them here when I'm grinding and I need more gems or I want to do something cool on the cow level, etc. So I keep these in moderation. I probably keep about what you see here inside my normal stash. And I'll probably just dump all these. Unless they're an ancient puzzle ring, I'll just probably end up dumping these just because I don't need to have so many. Uh, all this stuff here that you want to keep. The um, Obviously, the uh, follower items you can just dump. So uh, keep all that. Now, when we get into weapons and gear, again, it's anything that's ancient really in anything that you're gonna be using for your follower. The reason I bring up the follower is because items on the follower you want for every single class that you play. You wanna have these items here plus a couple more to use for your followers so that way they get the max stats, right? They get the max stats. Intelligence needs to be way higher. I think some of this is dexterity. Yeah, dexterity, dexterity. So I need to fix some of these, but you wanna have multiple copies of all of these items for your followers because you need them on every single class, right? So I keep those. Now, when it comes to just your normal weapons and armor, I'm gonna keep the Spectrum swords just because they're cool. But anything that I have inside of here, right, in my normal armor slots, in my normal weapon slots, I probably will not keep. These are just extra items that I have accrued over the season just to like have maybe i had like you know i had this or excuse me i had this dead man's legacy and then i got a better one so i just kind of held on to it just as extras but typically in my inventory everything that i'm keeping for a particular class is inside the class tab that i have so like for demon hunter all these items i'm going to keep because these are all the items throughout each of my class sets that i use now the items that are in weapons here these don't equip to any of the class builds. So these are just extras. So for example, another reason I have these is because if I wanna re-roll them and try to get primals, you can do that. So I may keep some of these because they're ancients, but otherwise I'm dumping all of this and I'm not gonna use it. Because again, you're gonna get so many more copies, it doesn't matter. So same thing in here with our rings, same thing uh, with any of the armor pieces. So, uh, and then the, yeah, the last slots, all of that. So that's how I like to keep my inventory, guys. That's what I like to bring over into the new season, and that's how I do it. Again, it's very simple. It's not too complicated if you keep everything simple. Just don't be a hoarder. Keep the most important stuff. Keep all your primal ancients. Keep your ancients. And then just when the season's done, you're going to keep everything that's the best. Now, when season 27 comes out, guys, we'll be doing our last inventory video. So that way you can see how to transfer those items out and then exactly how I go through the process of keeping certain items and trashing others. You may, keep, may end up using some mule accounts, etc. But that's what I like to do for in my, uh, inventory, guys, and the items I like to keep. And I, again, I use the same process throughout the entire season. So there's going to be some stuff that I have so many copies of. I just dump get rid of and just don't use. You can see in all these tabs, it's just empty because I just don't keep a lot of stuff. So I just keep the best stuff. But anyway, that is it guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and watching this video. I know it was a little lengthy than normal. I don't wanna keep stuff too long, but I kinda of wanted to you know, really break down how I keep these items to help you guys out with your inventory because I know it can be kinda of crazy. So 
thank you guys for watching and all the support that you guys have been giving me inside of diablo it's been an absolute blast so thank you guys so much if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like guys and if you're new here make sure to subscribe that really does help out the channel and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace